Hello students, welcome back to JJ's physics class. In the last class, we have discussed about different types of speed. The mathematical calculation for speed is relatively straightforward. But velocity on the other hand is more complicated mathematically and can be calculated in different ways depending on what information is available about the object's motion. Today, we will be discussing about different types of velocities. So, let us start. The different types of velocities are uniform velocity, variable velocity, average velocity and instantaneous velocity. What is uniform velocity? Let us take an example. Suppose we are traveling to Delhi and we are covering the same distance like in each hour we cover 60 km in specified direction. That means the body is said to be moving with uniform velocity. When a body covers equal displacement in equal interval of time in a straight line, a particle is said to be moving with uniform velocity if it covers equal displacement in equal intervals of time that is velocity remains constant throughout the motion. As we have discussed just now, when a body is moving with uniform velocity, the magnitude and direction of velocity remain same at any point. Suppose S is the displacement of the particle during a given time interval t, then the velocity is calculated using the formula V is equal to displacement travel divided by the time taken. So, or the displacement is nothing but velocity into time interval or S is equal to V times T. This is a graph of a body moving with uniform velocity. The nature of graph is a straight line. The slope of this graph is linear and shows equal increase in displacement in equal intervals of time. So, next is variable velocity or non-uniform velocity. What is variable velocity? Let me give you an example here. If you are traveling to Delhi and due to mending of roads or any other reason, there is a huge traffic due to which we are not able to take the straight line direction and also the speed does not remain the same. When a body covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time, then the body is said to be moving with non-uniform velocity. Best example is, as you can see in this video, a car is running towards a busy street. So, the direction is changing, the velocity is also changing. Suppose, a body is said to be moving with non-uniform velocity, if its speed or direction or both change with time. Best example, you can see here, a body circulating around a circle with uniform speed. So, here the direction keeps on changing but the speed is remain constant. The nature of graph is not a straight line. The slope of this graph is a curved line which indicates that the velocity is non-uniform. Next, we are going to study about average velocity. We have discussed about average speed in a similar way Average velocity can be calculated as the total displacement travel by the body to the total time taken. So, the ratio of total displacement to the total time taken is called the average velocity. As you can see here, he is travelled from this point to this point. So, his displacement is 20 meter and he is covered in 2 seconds. So, what is the average velocity here? The formula can be written as average velocity or V average is equal to total displacement divided by total time taken or other way we can express this equation as V average and arrow mark overhead that indicates that it is a vector quantity and delta x here delta is indicating change in values. So, here x is nothing but the displacement. So, change in displacement over change in time. 
so let us calculate this v average will be is equal to displacement divided by time taken so which gives what 10 meter per second is the answer there is another formula for average velocity before studying another formula for average velocity let us take into account about the concept of initial and final velocities case one suppose a scooter is at rest now started moving with a velocity of 20 meter per second then it has two velocities what is that at rest it has the initial velocity so since it is at rest position initial velocity is taken as zero and what about the final velocity it is moving with 20 meter per second so the final velocity is 20 meter per second so we represent initial velocity as u or v i which is equal to 0 meter per second now and final velocity is represented as v or v suffix f which is equal to 20 meter per second so we always go with u and v u indicating the initial velocity be indicating the final velocity next case two suppose the scooter is moving with 20 meter per second then the speed is increased to 40 meter per second so what is its initial and final velocity initial velocity is 20 meter per second and final velocity is 40 meter per second here u is equal to 20 meter per second and v is equal to 40 meter per second next case suppose if the scooter is moving with 40 meter per seconds and suddenly brakes are applied then it stops what is the final velocity here definitely it will be 0 meter per second so initial velocity is 40 meter per second so suddenly brakes are applied so the final velocity is 0 meter per second so initial velocity is denoted by u and final velocity is denoted by v so let us learn the formula then average velocity can be calculated as the arithmetic mean of initial and final velocity for a given period of time so average velocity is equal to initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 or u plus v divided by 2 that is the average velocity the other and back along the same straight path find the average speed and average velocity of usha average speed is equal to total distance travel divided by total time taken so which is equal to what is total distance travel here 180 meter in one minute so you have to be careful here because meter is an SI unit and minute is not an SI unit so you need to convert minutes into seconds so 180 meter into one minute is what 60 seconds so which gives what 3 meter per second is the average speed now what is the average velocity average velocity is what total displacement divided by total time taken what is the displacement here so it's clearly mentioned in the question Usha swims in a 90 meter long pool so she covers 180 meter total so she went from here to here then went back so her initial position and final position are remains the same so she has zero displacement so zero meter per second divided by total time taken is what one minute so the answer is zero meter per second is the answer so the average speed is three meter per second and average velocity is zero meter per second 
थैंक यू